वेलकम टू पवित्र लैपटॉप केयर सो टुडेज टॉपिक इज कन्वर्शन ग्राफिक्स कन्वर्शन एंड ऑन बोर्ड रैम डिसेबल इन बोथ केसेस हाउ वी कैन कन्वर्ट द रैम एंड सॉरी कन्वर्ट द ग्राफिक्स एंड हाउ टू डिसेबल द रैम सो आई विल एक्सप्लेन वन बाय वन सो बोथ आर इंटरलिंक्ड means it's uh, related to each other so that's why i took this both in a topic so anyway first in previous videos i already explained the cpu the cpu attached with ram as well as graphics yes right so here is a graphics in bidirectional and ram section here in ram section there will be two kind of rams one is on board and other one is sod in means external here the graphics at a time i am telling both because both are interlinked between the cpu and graphics and cpu and the ram see here is the ram what it contains it contains nv ram nv ram means its on board ram will be there for graphics it may be 1 gb 2 gb 4 gb and so on here also the same thing in case of on board ram here it will be minimum nowadays it's coming 4 gb but in uh, Uh, if you go for uh, tabs and all it will be or in some lower end laptops it will be 2 gb on board sodium it depends on cpu capacity maximum 8 gb or 16 gb whatever it may be it depends on cpu see now how to convert this graphics and non graphics or what the use of conversion or what is that conversion why it's required even it may be graphics or maybe ram ram also we can call it as a conversion right so only everyone will tells it's a disable of ram like that if you are calling it is a ram disable then you have to call this graphics conversion also disable of graphics so anything you can call it but process is same here the graphics and cpu in any motherboard <coughs> if you have graphics motherboards there will be a i mean there will be two graphics one is intel processor graphics and plus additionally this graphics will be there this may be amd series radeon nvidia and so on see for this graphics there will be a memory chips that's called nv ram it may be 4 or 8 or some other things two those kind of things that may be 1 gb ram 2 gb ram or 4 gb ram some cases this rams will give some problems because of this ram chips in that cases you won't get the display because primary display will be graphics so in that case if it gives any problem then secondary display the cpu that intel or amd whatever it may be the secondary display we need to activate so we have to make it as a primary in that case this conversion has required i'll repeat sometimes this uh, on board ram what is that nv ram won't work sometimes so because of this ram issue this graphics won't work in that case in such case or it may be the graphics issue also will be there sometimes in that case in the motherboard if there are two graphics chips then one we need to disable and other one we have to make it as a primary okay in that case this graphic conversion is required the same thing see here both i already explained once again i'll tell you the nv ram 
the similar kind of thing is the onboard ram see here the onboard ram may be 4 gb or 2 gb whatever it may be in case it has given some issues then the cpu won't work the primary display what we converted the display that won't work because ram is very very important if in case sodium we can replace the ram but on board ram we can't replace it we can remove it but in chip level we can replace it but it's very difficult so in that case we can make use of this sodium like the same graphic conversion we have to convert this on board ram to sodium ram see here the function of the on board ram will be primary so we have to make this secondary to primary and we need to completely disconnect the uh, ram connection between cpu to this on board ram so this process is called memory conversion or on board ram disable now you come to know what is that graphics uh, conversion and what is that ram conversion or graphics disable or ram disable so both are related to each other so that's why i took this topic and explained how much you understand that i don't know but the conversion may be graphics or maybe ram for example i'll take a uh, schematics then you come to know easily see here i have took what is that this is lenovo i think so hmm. lenovo lcfc hmm. here 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 intel sky lake kb lake u22 with ddr4 nvidia is a graphic chip and this one contains ddr4 hmm. here is a gpu see <coughs> previously i told the graphics and ram see here is the graphics this is the processor this one is ram and this also ram uh, as i explained previously this one is nv ram contains how much 4 gb and 2 gb see are you able to see 4 gb or 2 gb here that is called it's a graphics so external graphics this will be primary graphics so when this particular ram section having some issues we can't replace it so in that case we need to convert to intel as a primary see it may be graphics issue or it may be ram issue in that case no display issue will occur or hanging issue no display issue so many uh, softwares won't work those kind of problems you will face it here so that is content pci express 4x gen 3 here the same case ram see 1.2 volts ddr4 2133 mt per second <coughs> here two kind of rams are there see in page number 18 sodim this is sodim in the sense external ram so as per the cpu capacity we can increase it to 8 gb or 16 gb if this one is internal ram if this particular ram is working then we can add external 8 gb or external 16 gb it depends on processor in case this internal memory won't work then 100% the cpu goes to no display case in that case we need to disable this particular memory down and we need to enable this external ram slot we can work this particular motherboard using external ram slot so that's called it's on board ram disable okay how we can do this in both the case so first we have to make a primary once again i'll repeat first we have to make a primary as a secondary what we are using that one we have to make a primary that is the task actually so that's called conversion so here what we have to do the particular id will be there board id we call in the motherboard that is a hint very very important please listen over in chip level service you can easily understand this the board id 
for graphics or for ram okay for both having some graphics to the pch or uh, processor having the board ids according to that board id the primary things will work what i told previously if is the primary this one graphic is the primary first we need to disable it and convert as a uh, intel one as a primary like that memory also if it is the on board memory then we have to disable it and convert it as a primary so as per the board id one hint i'm giving you please listen carefully as per the board id we can do this process so many people uh, having i mean many people have seen in many motherboard uh, you have to replace this ram i uh, sorry this uh, register to up and upon has to down so many cases you have seen but in practically you have to understand how we can do those things okay graphic conversion i already told you in hardware level only you have to do because without removing coils or without removing that uh, particular resistors this conversion won't happen so secondary things in this ram condition hardware level as well as software level we can do the conversion how so many people are knowing that in bias we can convert the on board ram to uh, external ram that is the one possibility second one is in the hardware level also we can do it in some cases if you don't have schematics then 100% you need to convert it in software level but on major a major disadvantage in software level is once you upgrade the ram sorry once you upgrade the bias then 100% again no display issue will come so what you are going to do in hardware level that is the permanent solution okay anyway so as per the hint given i will one more hint I, i can give in this particular schematic so let us check what is that hint see here is the major example so how we can convert it into uh, non graphics or on board disable ram see here is the board id 0 1 2 3 4 5 and again 6 7 8 9 10 okay these all are called board id as i explained this particular any kind of motherboard whatever the voltage or what are what are the signals everything is depends on board id according to that board id only that motherboard particular section will work see here is the major example here see upside a register and downside also a register Hmm. here is the ground one and here is the supply one here 3 vs is there and here ground is there if you give this 3 vs that board particular board id will take if it should not be connected it's a depends on uh, working function of this particular uh, sections uh, particular hardware component see here is the major hint i'm giving so here board id number 1 0 and 1 see board id 0 and 1 how it works here is the clue description in case it is a 14 inch monitor i mean 14 inch laptop then board id this 0 and 1 should be 00 00, 00 in the sense stuff rc1616 what is that rc1616 should not be connected 10k register should not be there and 1614 1614 where it is here this also should not be there then that will be 14 inches laptop uh, when what about 15 inches 15 inches 0 and 1 see 0 in the sense your stuff 1616 should not be connected 1613 see 1613 should be connected then this particular board id 1 will work we will consider it as a 15 inches laptop what about 17 inches laptop for that 1615 1615 where it is see here 1615 should be present and and 1614 should not be present 1614 should not be present 
like that same thing one one is reserved zero non touch see that's a touch screen and non touch screen also we can identify as a, see in board id 2 we can identify in case this rc1612 is not present r61 Two is not present. Then this is non-touch. If one six double one is present, then this is touch screen. See, you can make it as a non-touch screen. You know that if it is a touch screen, then you can make it as a non-touch screen using these techniques. Okay. Next board ID three. Here is the major clue. See zero. This one is secondary graphics. we have to make it as a primary if you want make it as a primary then rc1610 r6 sorry r16 rc1610 rc1610 should not be present okay <coughs> then this will work see in case of this so this should be present 1609 1609 should be present then this particular discrete will work if you want work this so it should not be present okay in some cases it will be present but we need to remove this okay board id 40 see single rank hmm 1607 1607 what is that should not be present if you want dual rank so it should be present 1608 should be present in the motherboard if this one is present it won't be present so according to this board we have to chart this chart we have to change it so if we if we change this 100% this sections will work even same single mic and dual mic also same thing rc123 should not be present and rc1606 should be present zero in the sense should not present one in the sense should present so that is a hint here also same thing see board id 678910 here the hint has given here 33 registers okay in case of samsung on inbuilt ram on board ram samsung 8gb 2133 speed then these three register should be stuff stuff in the sense present it means should not present description 000 means 1634 you need to remove if it is a present 1634 1635 1 and 1640 these three should not be present so like that if you reserved see this one is different micron in case of micron chip then 100 means 1631 should be present 1631 should be present and these two not present so guys it's a very very simple topic hmm? how to convert graphics and onboard ram now you come to know how these all are interrelated okay so anyway but one more thing uh, the bias in the bias how we can convert uh, the handboard ram disable that so many softwares will be there using that softwares you can do or manually uh, if you know the bias editing there also you can do the handboard ram disable uh, that's it in future videos by practically i will show you how to convert the ram onboard ram or how to convert the graphics things so many things uh, has to come so please keep on watching till now if you are not subscribed the uh, subscribe my channel so please subscribe and support us thank you thank you very much